I love the sound of that. Yeah, it's, it's got a really nice throaty sound. And the nice thing about this car, just driving it, it's just running better. Because these cars sit, they're, you know, they're, they're show cars. Well, let's take them out. Let's take them out. Let's take them out. Hi, I'm Lou with another episode of my car story and friend to the channel, Dennis Roxworthy is with me. And well, you know that he likes Fords and this one is just, Dennis, what'd you bring today? I brought a 1955 T-Bird. It's the first year of the Thunderbird. The baby bird's the baby, first year. Yeah. The babyest. The babyest. And it's a California car. The babyest of the baby birds. It's a birds. California restored car. This is a California restored car. Well, <laughs> let me just take a moment to settle in and dazzle you with that. Let me tell you why I'm dazzling you with that. First of all, the 55, I like this, did not have a vent for air into the foot area, and it really makes that front fender smooth. Secondly, the color on this car, I think red is the right color on this car. I don't think that on most cars, most of you know I like blue cars, but this one I think is the right color for this car. Maybe not lastly, just also, the Ford rims in 55 were colored, uh, the red was the inserts, so the red on this red just looks great. As you can see, we've got the Firestone tires there. We have the faux venting there. We have the, is that the YV8 in this one? Yeah, it's a 292. 292. Right. And you get a very jet-like look right there with the mirror. You can see the windscreen there. The proper, I think, perfect bulge in the hood. Your, uh, I'll stand this way. I like the way the handle fits in there. You've got the key compartment there. This little skirt that you could see, a little rock guard, I believe is what it's called. So there's our script on the Thunderbird. Let me show you the back end on this one first, which I really think is well done. And we turned it so the sun is here. So the exhaust extraction comes like so your rocket like tail lights you can see the reverse lights and then you have this very interesting piece here number one first a great badge there the trunk opens up with the key and I'll show you how this this isn't one of my favorite styling cues to have a hole in your trunk uh, and you'll see why they put the Continental kits on in just a second. Dennis, can we open sure. that? Sure. Is this the correct California plate on this yeah, car? Yeah, this is the plate the car came with when the car was brand new. This is another uh, no rust, no hit Thunderbird. That, and I got the pictures of it before it was restored. It was just a great car to start with. So there's your jack. Here's your jack instructions. We have no trunk and treats for you on this one. Um, unfortunate, but you can see the back tire, the spare tire, takes up well half the trunk, which is why they wanted to improve that with the Continental kit. So uh, I do like the design better without the Continental kit. So this is my second favorite bird of the baby birds. I like the 57 the best um, as they extended the tail, but this is really, really good. Okay, we'll close that. And I just want to show people, you know, this here. I mean, you know, your hand can, can, can come through it? there. Yeah. And there is a nice little tail light there that makes it. Okay. One of the reasons why, too, well, the 57 Thunderbird, they lengthen it, is because there was a lot of complaints on the 56 at high speed because that kit hanging off the back yeah. was extra tail weight, so the car would have a little wiggle waggle at high speed. Okay. So that's why Ford went back to the spare in the trunk in 57. And they had a length of the quarter to get a bigger trunk. Good to that know. tire. Good yep. to know. I'm going to move to the interior. You want this down? Please. I'm going to move to the interior. 
And right off the bat, we've got a little wind noise as you can hear. We've got road tested, a very unique design there. Let me show you the insert in the door, and that's just to perfection. The curvature, the artwork there, this nice stainless steel, it looks like piece. The four way seat. There's only one window, there's no vent, that's an actual window. You yeah. can see this curvy curvature here. You're greeted to the Ford logo there. There's your bench seat. Right back here would be your convertible top. And let me show you the instrumentation there. Really, really nice. So as I sit in it, you're greeted to Thunderbird. Are those like the correct floor mats, I'm guessing? Yeah, well, they're, they're, they would, would have been like it was new, they're, but they're reproductions. But yeah, you could order those in 55. The ignition, the lights, the left air, your tachometer. One thing that's interesting is you can see that We'll actually show this. We'll turn it around, put the front in the, in the light at some point. But I really like that logo. You can see that this is somewhat clear. I'll try to put it that way so you can... Maybe I can do this. You can see my hand behind it. Hopefully that makes it easier. And you can see how that piece sticks out like that. Okay. And here you have your instrumentation. Dennis, is there anything that's happening here? Those are for the turn signals. For the turn signals, right. got it, okay. Your temperature, your generator, your clock, the lighter, wipers. This nice little Thunderbird logo right there, I like that. And I do like that too, that they put that little Ford Y V8 there. And then here's your, take that out a bit, sorry. And there's your transmission. And it starts in park. Starts in neutral. Starts in All neutral, I'm sorry, you're right. Yeah, 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 cars, that's yeah, what I meant to say. Yep. yep, got it. And the hood from there. Right now we're gonna open up the hood just because we've got the light in the right spot. We'll have a little more light under the hood if we do it this way. So you can see that there's actual, you can see through there, we've got a little more light on it now. Good. We're good there. Now this is 6 volt. Right, this is the last year of the 6 volt board. And you had shared with me that the Chevys did 12 volt and 55. Correct. So the next year for the T-Bird... Well, all the Ford products went to 12 volt and 56. Right. Let me just show this side. And if you're looking at a 56, which we have one featured, matter of fact, we have Dennis's feature at the 56, you can see that that will say 12 volt on there. Is there any... Um, I know on the 56 too, on the air cleaner, mm -hmm. there's a little... Um, Sticker? Yeah, there's It's nothing. over on this side. Oh, there is one? Yeah. All right, then I'll make sure I get that. Yeah, so let me see if I can get that. It's a little bit better here. I'll try to zoom in a little bit. important for tag there. I always like the fact too that you know they had the the aqua for the Thunderbird of the Indian aqua color, the turquoise, yeah. they put it on the valve covers. That little turquoise where it says Thunderbird. I thought right that here. was kind of neat. Yeah, that just gives that little detail. Little detail, just that much better. Let me take a look at the uh, the piece on there. Oh yeah I see it. Yeah. Yeah, I, didn't, I don't know why I missed it the first time. It's a little bit chewed up, but... Yeah, those decals, they they come apart and they come up because they're water transfer. Yeah. And I think they're originals and they're so dry 
and when you take put them in the water, they start coming apart. So they got to they got to make some repos of those because that would be better. Got it. All right. So for right now, since we have the back in the light, we're gonna fire it up. Sure. And then actually, while we fire it up, I'm gonna have you. And I'll show this too. You can see that right through oh, the, speed the speedometer. So I'm glad we've got the sun in the right spot there. And then we'll actually have you go around the, the circle. circle here. Sure. Yeah. So we'll fire it up while it's open. Now I noticed the engine is actually orange here. Well, they are. They're sort of a reddish orange. Reddish orange. Yeah. Is 56 it's a, the same color or no? Yes. Okay, got it. They call it Ford Red. Ford Red. They use it all the way to 62. They even use it on the 63 Fairlanes on the, in the air cleaners and stuff. Yeah. On the Falcons. Ford was really big on color on their motors. It's a little cold out today. Dennis, can you, I'm gonna to try to stand right there. Can you step on the brake? Oh, you are stepping on the brake. Okay, yeah, can you take the foot off the brake for a second? There we go. Why don't you just listen to that? Go ahead, Dennis, give it a rev. stock or do you have so little something on it? It's actually stock bumpers and I don't know why it does that. The other one's so quiet. Yeah, the 56 is quiet. That is a great sound. Let me have you jump in. I'm going to close this. Okay. You close it, you want to drop it from the center like so. There we go. Give me one second. I just want to push on this side a little bit. There we go. Closed. And I'll stand over here and we'll watch it drive into me. Let me feature the front of that. The eight crate grill. Your proper badging. Really like the way that's done. You can see the turn signals. The bumper heads, the exactly right design. I'll just show you that from the side a little bit, show you some of those points sticking out. Dennis, we gotta take this one for a ride. Sure, hop in, Will. Thanks. So I'm riding here with Dennis, and we're in the 55 Thunderbird, and right off the bat, you can hear it. It talks to you. It talks to you, I like that. I like a car that talks to you. This one's got exactly that. Yeah. How's it feel driving it? Oh, great. It's a great car. I just want to show the speedometer there. We've got the sun hitting it right. It looks look really good. This is Back to the Future, 1955 all over again. It's a time traveler. Yes, it is. Tell me about the styling of this one. Okay. What I really like about the 55 is simple lines, long nose, no clutter. It reminds me a lot of the 56 Mark II, 56, 57. Lincoln made a Mark II Continental, and they're just so elegant. That's what this car kind of reminds me of. And just with the long nose and the short deck. And the easy, there's no visors, there's no, no nothing. Simple. So we'll just let you enjoy a little of this ride with us. The other thing I was going to point out to you, yeah, go ahead. The engine in a 55 Thunderbird came out of a 55 Mercury Montclair. They used the Mercury engine. 198 horsepower. They wanted the more horsepower. And all white box are Ford motors, but they used a higher horse engine out of it. They would have gone in a 55 Mercury, a Montclair. They didn't really take it out of the Merc, but they used the same engine they, they put in that Mercury in this car. Well, people can see that, I mean, it's all the leaves are off the trees. It's actually winter right now. <laughs> right. It's December uh, that we're shooting this, but we had a good day. And uh, not only a good day, but always a good day hanging out with you in cars, right? Absolutely. We we've, we uh, we 
I, I just want to thank you so much for sharing your 55, which I just love this car. Uh, thank you so much for bringing it out and Thanks. sharing it with the channel. No problem. It's great to be with you always.